All right, we are here today taking a look at a little banger I'm super excited about showing off on the channel. I played around with this maybe half an hour last night just to kind of get comfortable with it so I could show it off here today. And I had so much fun in that half hour. Essentially, the entire game's atmosphere, the music, everything about it is so freaking comfy. And the cool thing about it is the gameplay itself reminds me a lot of Papers, Please. And as a matter of fact, the developer himself will tell you that was his big inspiration behind the game. But think of a world instead where the majority of the population has been wiped out due to a great famine. What little food is left over isn't necessarily up to par for us to survive with, so everything has to be meticulously curated. And that is the job that we acquire. Curating food, things start off fairly normal enough, I guess if you want to call it that. But apparently as you get further into the game, it does get a little bit darker. So the first thing we get to do here is choose whether we want to play Blessed or Bravey. Show me life as it is or there will be less punishment from the gameplay to ensure you a smoother story experience. As much as I'm intrigued about the story, you know what? I do like a bit of a challenge. It's going to Bravey. Year 2036, as the environment on Earth continues to deteriorate, untainted food sources have become extremely difficult to find. Most borders are closed for security reasons, and the government of each country begins to take charge of the acquisition and distribution of food for its people. Every piece of food that goes into the country must pass a variety of examination executed by the government-employed food inspectors. Notice how that's in red for some reason, too. Don't want to speculate, but I'll leave it up to you. Let's continue. Right, July 17, 2021, a night with heavy rain. Here. Tuck yourself in. There you go. Daddy? What's the story tonight? Ah, you've been waiting, haven't you? Of course! Hmm. Well, well. I have a good one for you today. It happened in the place... Far West. I mean, real far. And it's about a man and a sea turtle. Plus... Princess living under the sea. Wow! Go on! Go on! Hold on, little man. Remember what I told you about these stories? Yeah. Never share them with anyone else. That's right. You've just earned yourself another story. Yeah! Or not. Daddy, who are they? It's okay, son. Just some um, friends from work. Good evening, Mr. Crawford. Sorry to bother you this late. Please come with us to the office. Now. Dad? Where are you going? Well, wherever he went, <laughs> it might be possible that he never returned. July 20, 2036, 2.30 p.m. Meeting room 813, Aiden Central Government. Aiden. Is it Aiden or Eden? I mean, with Eden, I feel like it should be a knee, not an iron. That'd be all for the interview, thank you. Alright, just some last things to confirm. Uh, please, yeah, please. Don't be so uptight, son. The interview's over. Oh, I, uh, sorry. It's okay. Now look at the screen there. As you may know, if you're accepted, the place you'll be working at is a boot like this. About 3,000 feet above the sea, well integrated with the food line, and the 30 minutes airship ride from the city. However, once you're accepted, you'll be living, not just working, at the boot for at least six months straight before you can take a leave. 
safe and healthy food is available for you during the course of employment, and your families down here will be granted priority in food matters. You'll be paid each day based on how well you've done your job that day. Fair and square. Are we clearing all these? Uh, sure. We'll let you know the result in a couple of days then. Good luck. So as you can see, there's a precedence for us working this job because our family, Megan Land, does get a little bit of, uh, you know, extra care from the government. Wait. Everything has a wait. Say. Health and wealth. What do you think? Try using the scale in front of you to find out. Alright, over here apparently we got money. Love and people. That's right. See? Everything has a weight. Now, give me the heavier one. So this over here is going to be 999. I'm hungry, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to kind of like work as a tutorial here. So, we put this, 99. So he wants the heavier one. So obviously, you want money. Thank you. Wait, my brother's got something to say. Color. Everything has a color. Not the shell, but the core. Say, the first kiss of a girl on the last night before a wedding. <laughs> you aren't so surprised. Why not try it out yourself with the tester here? So, let's see here. See if it's the same as you think. So over here we have, um, say, yellow, right? I test it here really quickly. Turns out what's inside is actually purple. He wants the purple one, so that's the one that he wants. I'm curious as to where this, right now, this possible dark abyss monster comes into play eventually. Ten days after. We have been approved, how about it? Inside an airship. And like Papers, Please, there's also going to be a bunch of other, I guess, recurring NPCs as well. So we'll learn a bit about them here. Gentlemen, attention, please. We'll check the list for the last time. Boot 103, Damien Kozlov. Here. Boot 105, Ned Crawford. Here. Boot 220, Awan Halim. Here. Good. Looks like we got everyone. Turner, that's all. This is the last patch. We had much more last year, didn't we? Last year, many new boots were built. So they expanded the enrollment as well. Hm. New faces this year don't seem so promising, though. No need for such speech, Edgar. We've got plenty of applicants for replacement. Sure. Listen up. You've all gone through a lot here. I hope you can all live up to your expectations. Today, you may be proud of being an inspector. May tomorrow the inspectors be proud of having you. Turner, we're taking off. Alright. Welcome to the food inspection skyline. Now fasten your seatbelt. Hey, buddy, you holding up? Not bad. Now you got a strong heart. You look uh, a lot calmer than me. Me? I used to work in the food inspection landline, so not a novice. Oh, why'd you come here then? Oh, that would be too long a story to tell. Oh, look, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Uh, could you do me a favor? What favor? I uh, can't be too specific right now, but you can expect a phone call these couple of days. My friend will tell you about it then. Uh, okay. But I can't promise you about the favor. Uh, that's fine. It's going to be a breeze for you anyway. A breeze? Oh, take this. You'll probably need it someday. A wand's gift. What's this? <laughs> Dear passengers, attention please, we're about to take off. Uh, I guess I should head back to my seat. Uh, look, don't complicate things. J just pick up the phone when it rings. Now, you may want to take a nap, my friend. It's going to be a long night ahead. Ah, uh, thanks. Take care, then. Sure. Not ominous or anything, right? That's the time, yeah, yeah. 
And check out this background over here, which looks so comfy, and then we actually get to see it animated as we're going up and everything. Like, the developer here has done a great freaking job, like... Look at this, we even took off. Like, it's simple art, right? But it still, it just feels so freaking comfy, the rain works out well. This entire setting that we're in, it's just really, really awesome. We're here then, Mr. Crawford. Boot 105, you need your home. Let me give you a little tour inside. Mind the gap when you get off. So we basically just get airlifted into our boot and they proceed onwards. And lastly, the business cards of the three designated restaurants. Due to the traffic and energy control, every worker can only order from one restaurant each day. Okay, work will soon start. Get in front of the belt when you're ready. Looking forward to your excellent debut. All right, your health points will gradually decrease. We got 300, um, whatever the currency of this world is. This will, uh, as mentioned, gradually decrease, so you can't mess around too much as well. Here we have Alwan's gift. Looks fishy for having no product information on its package. Smells like medicine. We're not gonna drink that just yet, because I'm not sure what it's about. We have our ID card, a proof of identity. I feel like we should always keep that one aboard and then take out cards. We'll be ordering food every day at least once, so we should probably have these because I put them away myself, but every single time you need to pull them out so you know the phone number to call. So we put our picture over here, photo of my parents, and the three-year-old me. The face of my dad has been smeared unrecognizable. I was told it's shot in the last photo studio in Iden before it got shut down permanently. And here we're at 89% right now. So what I can put away, though, I'm going to say is going to be this uh, a drink. Everything else I'll try to keep on me here. So that's good. I'm not going to bed yet. This would be our workstation. We work from home. Not a bad gig, I would say. Before we start, let's go ahead and order some foods here. We have different selection. We have Fook Wang. YouTube, I said Fook. Okay. Fast and healthy and yummy. Okay. I'm, I'm big on Chinese, so that's always good. EC's Family Restaurant, the old uh, America food. Got our fries, got a burger. And we have Zen Bento Sushi Fresh Japanese variety. You know what? I could always go for some Chinese. So let's go ahead and do that one. Fook Wan Fast Food. What can I get you? All right, so we're at 200 here. There's no limit to how much you could actually order. So we'll take one of each here for now. And that's going to be it. All right. Well, we've done that. How about we get to um, work? Good evening. I'm the supervisor of Boot 101 and Boot 120. We have two new co-workers today, so let me briefly introduce today's task. I won't say it twice, so listen carefully. We got two products to check today, and every item must pass two tests. The weight test, and the color test. See the information on the screen? The first line shows the correct result of the color test. The second line shows the correct interval of the weight test. That is, each product should weigh within that range, endpoints included. For all the unqualified ones, dump them onto the recycle hole on the right side. One last thing, if you see any products that are not on the screen, you must hit the red button on the left side to report. I'll tell you what to do with them next. That's all. Easy, right? Let's get to work. All right, here's our timer down below. Now, hopefully I can do this well because I'm gonna be doing commentary so my undivided attention is not here. So that is perfect weight. Is it the right color? Blue, it is blue. Checks out. 499, that passes that. Do you pass the color? Yes, it does. The one thing I'm gonna have to be sure is that whenever I get a wrong one is to make sure I put it here. I ran into an issue, even off camera when I played this, where I got a wrong one and I was like, oh, this is wrong. And I brain farted and I put it back on the conveyor belt. And even though I out loud said this is wrong, for some reason I felt like the game was going to understand me and be like, oh, you said it was wrong, Falcon, don't worry, we'll take care of it for you. But uh, obviously that, that, <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. So here, this one kind of throws you off too because it's supposed to be yellow on the inside. 310 is still good. But the canister itself is... that works out. The canister itself is red. And the G, you're thinking green, right? But it's really yellow, so that's their design to throw you off. You see 339? Way above it? In you go. We got everything right. 13 right. Zero wrong. But we got an A, so that's good. Perfect. Now we're tired and hungry and we have a doorbell. Which should be our food. Answer the door yet. This is the best part of our, uh, our Fuquang delivery service. We have a... Possibly a cutie waifu here. Wukfang fast food? Uh, yeah. Fork or chops? Uh, sorry. Fork or chops? Uh, chops? Can you use chopsticks, sir? Yep. I think. 
I, I actually cannot. I personally, me Falcon, I cannot. I've tried it. I just can't do it. I don't know why. My brain shuts down. What do you mean you think? Just take a load. <laughs> See ya. Alright. Off she goes. Go to sleep. I'm having a headache. Probably it's the hospital-like smell here, or that everything happened today was just surreal. But now, I just want a good sleep. Alright, that was her prologue. Chapter 1, good day, goodbye. It may take some time before I can get used to the night shift, but a rest did bring feelings back to me. Yeah, it's really happening, and there's no turning back. My escape from Iden starts today. Escape. Dear Mr. Crawford, welcome to Live in Boot 105. I guess that should be life. The room has been sterilized. I mean, you have a good stay. We have also clues in here. We learned about a couple things. So, general clues, hover to clue, close borders. The borders of Iden were closed for security reasons by the government during the Great Famine, and has been staying that way ever since. Even though it makes common residents unable to leave at all, few people have the luxury to care. But there's still some outliers, even rebel groups, that are trying to break that rule. They are being labeled as dangerous terrorists. Now, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like... Where it says rebel groups. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like rebel, like R-E-B-E-L, or maybe in this game's world. It's just a rebel group. A one? Ex landline. A one claimed to be an ex landline food inspector. Don't know any more details or if that's even true. Unknown? Kind of aloof. <laughs> Alright, is there a clue here this far? And we got 10 restore for a passable sleep. Getting up at night to work. Ugh. Better order some food first. Alright. Let's go ahead and indeed do that. Doorbell first. What do we got here? Uninvited guest. Hey, how you doing? Good evening. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Nastia, in charge of the shopping service. Oh, I, uh, I, I just got up here yesterday. Ned, Ned Crawford. I, I know who you are. Not that many new faces in Skyland this year. How's your first day? S still learning. Okay. How do you like living in the boot? Well, nothing to complain. I mean, it's very comfortable. Good. Did you miss home? Uh, no. Thanks for asking that. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's just their job to check on your mental health from time to time. I see. Okay, let's jump right in. What do you want to order today? So here I'll give you the rundown of what they would essentially tell you, but... She'll make runs for you. This is stuff that I'm not sure how it's going to impact the story. Some of it seems to be superficial itself to kind of deck out your boot and, you know, make it feel comfier. But some of it, I guess, will probably have some more impact down the line as well. So I'm going to pick this one up because... I don't know, maybe there's a chance for us to win some money. So 10 every single time as long as we do good for work. I don't think it's a bad thing, so we'll get the welfare lottery. Put up a poster for a hundred right now. I'm gonna say no. I'll take some beer though because hey, you know we're a small boot working every single day at night time. Little beer's not gonna hurt us. All right, I'll bring them to you next time we meet. All right, see you then. We'll step inside. Let's um, go ahead and order some food. I'm gonna say we get some more Chinese just so we can kind of make some more progress with the aloof delivery person. Good evening. There's one thing I forgot to mention to the newcomers yesterday. Working as an inspector, you get one of the best perks available in town. Have a look at the draw under your work table. That's right, you get to listen to the best music in Iden for free. But don't get carried away. Too many mistakes will send you home. So apparently we have <laughs> a clown birthday music. This kind of gave me the entire Fallout type of feel. And then we have... I thought that thing was giving me the finger. Um, I don't know. Music for C? Let's go with the Fallout one, maybe. Alright, we have a new one today. We have Red. Might be a Red Bull, who knows. So, 324, that definitely fits in there. And you're supposed to be red on the inside. It does indeed work. Blue! 503 meets the number. Blue on the inside. No, yellow. Off you go. Alright, so we are getting towards the end of our day here. No errors thus far that I've logged, so... That is the upside. There's been a couple of duds that I've sent in there. That's gonna be yellow. That works out perfectly well. Blue. 503, that checks out. As long as you're blue... There you go. Don't deduct anything. So I guess if we lag it too much, they'll still deduct you, huh? 
But so far we are two perfect, so I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. Tired and hungry? That should be our food. There she is. Ukwong fast food? Yeah, that's me. Orca chops. Uh chops, please. Great. See ya. Oh wait. Damn, she's gone. We'll talk to her someday, man. Believe you me, we will. Oh, phone's ringing. Oh, oh this could be the call. Hi. Here's Jack from Yorozuya. May I speak to a Mr. Crawford? Speaking. We received your payment yesterday. As requested, a lady at Iden Care Center will be looked after at regular intervals over the course of the next 15 years. Is that correct? Yes. Great. In the first few months, I'll be in direct contact with you and report to you, report to you her status or any emergencies. I see. Thank you. My pleasure. Lastly, thank you for trusting us and please command, recommend us to your friends and families if you find our service satisfying. Yorozuya Jack signing out. We got a new clue. So somebody's, um, we're looking, or at least somebody is in the care of their service, which I have to imagine probably is her mother. We've gone to work and we left somebody taking care of her. For the next 15 years, it seems going to be gone, mate. Very intriguing. But... I'm going to wrap it up here for this one here today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This has been Boot. If you guys want to see some more, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. We'll definitely come back and do some more. Otherwise, all the information for this game, description down below. I'll catch you guys next time.